26A4, Aliens, EQ, Pegasi Star, 1998, Project Phoenix, Arcebo, Telescope, while setting. There's the alien radio signal. Um, we're going to talk about Art Bell's Coast to Coast, Black Agency Intelligent Operation, Amateur Radio Astronomer, SETI Radio Signal, Star P EQ Pegasi, BBC Project Phoenix, SETI Institute Research Team, Arcebo Telescope, Paul Dorr, British Aerospace Commu Company, Keyword Research Line 26, while well SETI data. So January 9, 2012, um, two years ago, now it's May 2014. Keyword is EQ Peg and a quote from the blog. Alerted early on by the fact that one half of the EQ Peg's celestial coordinates are 19 hours 56 minutes, north declination 19.5, anyone question, are take, are take both privately and publicly. On Art Bell's Coast to Coast, for instance, was that all we had been subject to some kind of extremely sophisticated black agency intelligence operation. In late October of 1988, 1998, a dramatic website suddenly appeared, describing the ostensibly discovery by an anonymous amateur radio astronomer of a genuine SETI radio signal coming from a faint northern star called EQ Pegasi. <clears throat> At first, even the BBC came excited be <coughs> about a month earlier, on September 17th, the major nonprofit California SETI research team. The SETI Institute's Project Phoenix had reported a previous signal from the same star using borrowed time on the 1,000-foot Arcebo telescope. Within minutes, however, according to the SETI Institute, it was concluded that the September 17th Arcebo EQ peg signal at 1210 MHz was merely interference. Now a month later, EQ peg was back. In a couple of days after the original October 26th posting, <coughs> The story leaked that the amateur radio astronomer was actually a British engineer named Paul Dorr and that he worked for a major British aerospace company. Over the next few days, a remarkable drama played itself out electronically around the world. When some folks believing the Dorr discovery was real, others instantly dismissing it as a hoax. Additional amateur confirmations were soon posted on the Dorr website, only later to be removed because they proved to be outright hoaxes using stolen identities of real amateur astronomers elsewhere in the world. So that's from www.bibliotechcaplades.net. And the data continues the next video. Thank you for watching.